The National Map is a collection of mapping products and services produced by the USGS National Geospatial Program. The products and services are accessed via the internet through service calls and graphical user interfaces. The National Geospatial Program has released a series of how-to videos for people who are working with the National Map data and services. The videos show how to use the services and interfaces to access data and tools for viewing, analyzing, and printing geospatial data. The training materials are a mixture of video and PowerPoint-based lessons. Lessons 1 and 2 serve as an introduction to the training materials. The remaining lessons are designed as quick how-tos and may be viewed as needed in any order depending on the user. Any use of trade, product, or firm names is for descriptive purposes only and does not imply endorsement by the U.S. government. Lesson 10 E2 Using Last Zip to Decompress LiDAR The United States Geological Survey hosts LiDAR data in LAS 1.4 format. LAS is a compressed version of a typical LAS LiDAR tile. Like a zip file, a LAS LiDAR tile is much smaller than the same LAS tile. However, you can use a tool called LAS Zip to decompress a LAS file. By the end of this lesson, you will understand the difference between the LAS and LAS format, know where to download the LASZip.exe tool, and how to decompress a LAS file to a LAS file using LASZip.exe. The USGS offers other lessons in using LAS files in ArcGIS Pro, Global Mapper, and LP360. Before we begin, you'll want to download some LiDAR data to use during our exercise. The National Map has a download client where you can find USGS products to include elevation data such as LiDAR point clouds at viewer.nationalmap.gov forward slash basic. If you are interested in learning more about downloading products from the National Map, be sure to check out our training videos located at www.usgs.gov forward slash ngp videos. However, for this lesson, we've conveniently packaged four tiles of LAS data into a zip file called LAS underscore example underscore data dot zip and loaded it to our FTP site at FTP colon forward slash forward slash rocky FTP dot CR dot USGS dot gov forward slash training underscore data. Please navigate to this location and download the zip package. This may take a few minutes. After you've downloaded the LiDAR data, extract the zip file into a folder on your local computer to use during this lesson. The last format contains the LiDAR point cloud data records. It is an open source public file format that is maintained by the American Society of Photogrammetry and Remote Sensing. The current version is LAS 1.4 R14. If you would like to learn more about the current version, refer to the ASPRS website. The LiDAR systems combine the location of information from a global navigation satellite system, an inertial measurement unit, and laser pulse angle and range data to determine the location of objects on the ground. A last format dataset contains metadata and X, Y, and Z coordinates for a point cloud, as well as additional information such as intensity, return number, number of returns, classification, and other fields. USGS used to distribute LiDAR data exclusively in LAS format. However, we switched to LAS format in 2019 to lower data storage and download expenses. LAS is a free open source product developed by a company called Rapid Lasso. It is a lossless compression format that retains all the information in a LAS file, but at a reduced file size of 7 to 20 percent of the original. Many computer programs natively support the LAS format, including Global Mapper, Qt Modeler, FME, Erdos Imagine, and Envy. However, several software products such as Esri's ArcGIS Pro and QCoherence LP360 require you to convert the LAS into LAS first. LAS Zip is a free tool under the LAS Tools library that can easily convert files from LAS to LAS or from LAS to LAS. Last zip is available as an open source code and as a Windows binary executable file. For this lesson, we will use the Windows executable file located at lasttools.org forward slash download forward slash lastzip.exe. 
go ahead and download lastzip.exe to your local computer to the same location that you saved the unzipped lesson data. Here you can see the four LAS files you downloaded and extracted earlier in the lesson. Note the four files combined are 166 megabytes. The original LAS formatted LiDAR data is 1.3 gigabytes, so these are 13% of the original file size. We'll now launch the software. You may require administrative privileges on your system to run the executable, so please ensure that you have that before running the software. Also, your computer antivirus software may warn you not to run the executable because it is from an unrecognized publisher. The software is safe, so you can choose to run it. You should only see this warning the first time you launch the program. Alternately, Windows may ask you to search for an app to open the program. Just click No if you get this window. The last zip interface will open. It looks complicated, but is simple to run. You can browse to the last files, filter your data by coordinate, classification, or return, transform your point cloud data by shifting or scaling your data, set a new projection, or load overlays. This is beyond the scope of this lesson, but please feel free to experiment with these options on your own. When you expand the Browse option, you will see the folder that you stored the last zip.exe file in. If it's the same location as where you unzipped the lesson data, you should see the folder called LAS underscore example underscore data. Double click on this folder to view the four LAS files. If you do not see this folder, you can type the appropriate drive name and click the Go button to browse to the correct location. By default, LAS zip should see both LAS and LAS files. Click the Add button to add the four LAS files to your workspace. You can choose to do only a selected file by highlighting the appropriate wireframe in the View window or by highlighting the file name in the top left and choosing the option to use Selected File only. We will decompress all four tiles at once, so just make sure the Process All Files button is selected. If you expand the output option, you can select the folder where you want to decompress the LiDAR data. If you leave this option blank, it will default to the same location as the LAS data. To change this option, you can click the ellipses button and change your directory and folder, or create a new folder. We will just keep the outputs in the same directory. If you're decompressing dozens or hundreds of LAS files, you can increase the number of CPU cores you want to use in the tool by expanding the Job on Cores button. Increasing the number of cores would decrease the processing time. Since this is a small job, we only need one core, so we'll keep the Run 1 option selected. When you're happy with your choices, click the Decompress button to convert the LAS to LAS format. The program will show a summary of the LAS zip command in a separate Run window. Click Start to run the tool. The program does not show its progress, but the Run window will go away when all of your LAS files are decompressed. In Windows Explorer, browse to the appropriate folder and you should see four new LAS files. You can now use these LAS files in programs that cannot natively read LAS files. You can use the same tool to compress LAS files into LAS files. You would simply change the wildcard to .las, browse to the folder where you have the LAS data, and click the Compress button. Congratulations! You finished Lesson 10E2 using LAS zip to decompress LiDAR. During this lesson, you learned about the LAS and LAS format, where to download the LAS zip.exe tool, and how to decompress LAS files into LAS files. Be sure to check out other LiDAR training videos located in the Lesson 10 area on usgs.gov forward slash ngp videos. Thanks for your time.